Hey, GBC, what is up? It is so good to be with you today. Um, you know, if you try to watch the message from Sunday, you see that there are some technical difficulties and there wasn't an audio or video recording. And I'm going to tell you what, man, you guys missed out because that was the most amazing message that's ever been preached. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, but it was pretty good. I mean, I really enjoyed it. And so what I want to do today, uh, we've been in this devotional series called Ready, Set, Go. And so it's this idea of like Christmas is over. What's next? Last week we talked about uh, the post-experience crush and kind of what do we do and mentally how do we how do we move past like the emotional high of Christmas and everything that goes into it to, to in just in January that then the, the days are short, the nights are long, it's cold, it's mentally kind of there's this oppression and then um, if you haven't gotten your bills yet from Christmas, they're probably coming in. And so what I want to talk to you about today is the just this kind of this idea of craziness, right? This ready, set, go, this idea of um, that we're in this race. Uh, we're going to talk in a, in a couple of weeks about uh, running to win. We're, we're going to talk about the fact that it's a team game. Um, last week, you know, we talked about what we talked about. But this week, what I want to talk to you about is what we all have to go through when we decide to do something. Now, um, I don't know about you, but like for me, it's kind of soup season. Um, we love to eat chili. Uh, we have this chicken tortilla soup that we really enjoy, and, and so my kids like really love it. And so when Becky and I first got married, she introduced me to something that her family does that I don't know anybody else in the world that does. It's like this really kind of, I, I don't even know, but they love to take cinnamon rolls, and, and my wife and is an incredible maker of cinnamon rolls, and then they get this big bowl of chili, and then take their cinnamon roll and they break it up and then they, they dip it in the chili and they eat it. And the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, what in the world are you doing to that beautiful round sugar covered gluten filled awesomeness? It's so good. And I was like, what in the world is happening? Why are you doing it? And then I looked up and her dad was doing it and her brother was doing it and her grandparents. I was like, I'm married into heathens. What am I doing? Like I'm stuck though. And she was like, just try it. And I was like, no, that's so gross. I'm not going to try it. She's like, just try it. And we were like still moving. So I tried it and it was actually really, really good. And I was thinking about it. Like, I would not have experienced the greatness of cinnamon rolls dipped in chili if I hadn't just tried it. If I hadn't taken that first step. And this last week, we were looking at the life of Abraham. We launched a new series called Follow. We're going to be spending 25 weeks looking at the life of Abraham. And in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, God shows up to Abraham. Abraham has no idea who God is. He shows up and he says, Abraham, go. And he lays out this idea, and we're actually going to look at it more on Sunday. But he lays out these promises, and they're all dependent on Abraham taking that first step of obedience. It doesn't matter where you're at or what's going on in your life. I know for a fact that God is calling you to something. And you have a choice. You can do one of two things. You can just kind of sit where you're at and maybe enjoy life, or maybe you're sitting and wallowing in your misery. Or you can take that first step of faith and step out and follow God. And he may be asking you to do something that is so outside of your realm of even thought that just feels crazy. You're like, I'm not prepared for this. It's great because God doesn't typically call the prepared people. He calls people willing to obey and he prepares them for what he's called them to. Maybe he's calling you to disciple somebody. Maybe he's calling you to step into a new season of ministry. Maybe he's calling you to take a step back from something. And I don't know what God's calling you to. And I don't pretend to know, but I do know this, that God is calling each and every one of you into something deeper, into something that's going to conform you more to the image of, your, of his son tomorrow than you are today. And you have a choice. You can say yes, or you can say no. And, and listen, I don't want to give away like everything for Sunday, but we're going to talk more about this very thing this coming Sunday. And, and I really want you to be there because listen, God's blessing in your life is dependent upon your willingness to live in the place that he wants you to live. 
If you are in open rebellion against God, he will not bless you. And if he's calling you to do something and you're saying no, you are in rebellion to him. I want the best for you that's possible. The best thing possible for Abraham was to step out and follow God. He experienced a life like he would have never experienced if he had said no and stayed in Haran. You and I experienced the blessing of God because of the faithfulness of Abraham. Church, don't sit and wallow where you're at. Be faithful. Step out. Even if it's something as crazy as dipping cinnamon rolls into chili, it makes no sense but somehow it works. I don't know what God's calling you to, but I know that he's calling you to something. And listen, just ask him, just say, God, help me be faithful. One of my um, <clears throat> favorite prayers to pray right now is God, I believe, help my unbelief. Um, I think I pray that constantly. God, I believe, help my unbelief. And you know what? He shows up every time. He is faithful every time. He has never let me down. He has always done what he said he would do. He's always blessed where he said that he would bless. He's stretched where he said he would stretch. Church, step in, follow him, take that first step because he has something amazing for you. He wants better for you than you want for yourself. All you have to do is step out of faith. Guys, I cannot wait to see you this weekend at 10 o'clock as we talk more about this very topic. Go in his grace and peace. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you on Sunday.